Another Flirt Radio night. Exciting night tonight. It's a Women Crush Wednesday. Hashtag WCW. And I say that because we have three beautiful and talented female DJs tonight. Um, Astronautica up first. Uh, she just released her her album Waikiki. Then we have So Super Sam. You might know her. She tours with Childish Gambino. She's also working on a couple projects herself as well as DJ Kittens. So a whole night of really great music by some really talented women. They're not just beautiful, but they're, they can get down on the turntables. Astronautica. Hello. Yay. Hey. <laughs> You're on the other side of the mic today. I am. This is cool. I'm usually <laughs> like behind that window right there. Um, but but tell me, you know, I, I, of course I've, I've known you growing up, but when did you start um, creating music? Um, like creating music maybe mm-hmm. about, um, about three years ago, but like actually, you know, oh my family was like play piano like play yeah. the guitar so like as a kid I played instruments but mm-hmm. actually like recording music and thinking about like having a career with it about mm-hmm. three years ago but I was talking about Hawaii um, because you just released an EP called Waikiki uh-huh. um, I obviously you know my family and, and your family loves Hawaii but just talk about you know where uh, where um, what made you call it that and how is this different from your last release Kind of just, you know, I was in Waikiki when I made a couple of the songs. Um, There was like that crazy tsunami Mm -hmm. that was going on, so I couldn't really do anything. And I was stuck in my hotel room with my grandma and Mama Vicky, and she Uh was like, oh, like, let me play some of the piano. And so, like, we kind of, like, it was kind of a cool bonding experience I got to have with her. But, you know, um, those couple of days, I wasn't really doing anything. I was, like, sitting in the dining room. We had, like, a condo Mm -hmm. thing. Um, sitting in the dining room with my little MIDI controllers, which are great for like traveling and stuff. Um, And yeah, I just just kind of, you know, embrace the whole vibe, like the whole like relaxed, laid back vibe of Hawaii. So, and and so you you created this EP, but um, how did, how did you come up with the overall vibe and and, and feeling from it? What did you, did you go outside the doors? Did you see the oceans? Um, Um, No. Listen to music there? I mean, it's, I mean, with every song I create, it's kind of just like an extension of my you know, of myself. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I I got the vibe, you know, like, like I said, like I was super relaxed in Hawaii and I'm just a relaxed person overall. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, my form of expression. And um, yeah, that's basically, it wasn't like, I don't know. Like I said, I was just very relaxed in Hawaii, and that's kind of just well. We the need everybody to download it first <laughs> yeah. of all to understand what she's talking about. But tell them where, the, where your, your SoundCloud. Yeah, where they so can find it. it's located on SoundCloud. I have a couple of songs up there, but it's on iTunes. Mm-hmm. You can just Google or search, type in the search bar "Astronautica," and then my last release from last year will come up. Waikiki will come up, and yeah. It's so, it's so exciting to have to, to have this, especially while you're on tour right now. Yeah. You're on tour with Bass, but what 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 is, what is that experience like? It's kind of crazy because the first time I ever played low in theory, and like the first time ever, like in an LA um, venue, I opened for Bass. Mm-hmm. This is like, like a couple years ago, and um, yeah, it's just kind of cool. Like last week we played together at the Glass House, which for me it was crazy because I used mm-hmm. to go there a lot. Right. Um, growing up, and I watched like so many bands I loved like pl- perform there. So to be on stage, like like exactly like how I am here, you know, on the other side. It's, right. It's really cool. We just a couple lovers, a couple lovers. So, Super Sam, how you doing? Hello. In case you didn't know, you're one of my favorite DJs. What? That's so cool. How did you how you how you get into DJing? Um, well, I've always been into music. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a dancer growing up mm-hmm. my whole life, and then um, I also did musical theater. I mm-hmm. also did choir. Um, I did yeah every form of dance possible. So mm-hmm. I I was a dancer first, mm-hmm. and then um, got it segued into singing and. Um, through all that whole time, I had homeboys and cousins who right. were um, DJs, and um, one of my cousins managed the Beat Junkies back mm-hmm. in the day. So I got to grow up firsthand, you know, and yeah, see. firsthand, mm-hmm. looking at wall to wall records and mm-hmm. following, you know, him and J Rock mm-hmm. and Babu, and you know, um, just seeing that whole culture yeah. unfold. And um, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. I just mm-hmm. didn't know when. Right. You know, and so when um, was it? When did it happen? So for, for you? me, that was 2008. Mm-hmm. I um, 
I was like, I got to do this once and for all. I have some, you know, I'm done with school. I have mm-hmm. a job. I can afford the <laughs> equipment. It and the records at the time. A, yeah, it is kind of a big investment mm-hmm. to start. It's not like playing basketball where you just need to buy a basketball and no. then um, go find a park. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, I made the investment and I never looked back. It was really cool. And I, I think it was something I always wanted to do in my heart of hearts. And, yeah, 2008, I just kind of got the ball rolling and... Um, here I am. And what's next for you? What's it, what's next on the plate for Sam? Um, I. What's coming up next? I'm actually working on some special stuff. Um, I'm songwriting again, which is cool. I used to, like I said, part mm-hmm. of my upbringing was singing, mm-hmm. and um, I put that down for a while, actually, to start DJing, mm-hmm. and um, recently picked up the pen again. So, uh, so we're gonna hear a lot more music. Hopefully, yeah, and then you'll be hearing me in a different way, hopefully, very soon. Um, And what's great is I have a really awesome group of producers and uh, artists around me already Mm -hmm. who uh, hopefully I'll get to work with, too. Mm -hmm. Um, And you guys have a good family with the How, What, and Where family. How, What, and Where, uh, Selection, Mm Just tons of friends. With the internet, we're just all friends, aren't we? One of my favorite shows tonight. I'm so glad that we recorded it tonight because we get to replay this over and over. So in case you didn't listen, uh, go to soundcloud.com slash radio and you'll hear all the mixes from Astronautica, So Super Sam, and the one and only kittens. How are you doing? I'm so good. How are you? Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about, um, you know, Sam talked about it earlier in, in Astronautica, about your early days of DJing and how did you get in, get involved? Me and Sam kind of have a similar story. Mm -hmm. I grew up dancing also Mm -hmm. um, and like competing and doing the whole hip hop, jazz, contemporary, like all that. And once I started going to college, I just didn't have time to go take classes. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have the opportunity. And um, like all of my guy friends growing up, like later high school and up till now are all like in the the industry or DJs or producers. Started going to low end when I was like 17. Right. Should have been at home. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I just like, I didn't have dance as an out- outlet anymore. And I had needed something to do with music. And I was like, damn, like these fools are all playing stuff I really love. Mm-hmm. And there's no girls like killing it. Mm-hmm. And I don't understand why. And I want to do it. So. And then that, that was how long ago? Not that long ago. Um, I started. When did I buy my turntable? Like 2011. So a couple years ago. Yeah. How was that experience? Just just getting to play with Ketty? Um, it was kind of bizarre, but amazing. Mm-hmm. It just really came out of nowhere. Like yeah. I was just playing playing around LA, and uh-huh. you know, it's like you kind of sometimes you just need a break and you need someone to believe in you. Mm-hmm. And I got a chance to play this random tiny party he did. And um, and then a month later, he hits me up out of the blue and is like, hey, I need a DJ for all my shows now. Come to New Orleans. And I was like, uh, okay. Okay, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> Where's my ticket? Right. Here? <laughs> Down. And and then I played the show like at uh, Buku Fest with him last mm-hmm. year. It was the first time. And I'm like, wow. oh my God, there's so many people. Like It was just really intense. But what's next for you? What, what, what's 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 in the books for, for kittens? Um, I'm really just trying to focus on production now. Mm-hmm. So still DJing, but... I want to be making the music I'm playing, so doing that, I'm messing around with some stuff with Chuck, actually, so mm-hmm. we're, like, doing these little remixes together, and then... So you'll be working down stairs, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> Chuck <laughs> practically lives here at Ski. <laughs> I think they I have a fourth room just for Chuck downstairs. <laughs> um, but that, that, So you're going to get behind the boards. I can't wait to hear some of this stuff, because a lot of, some of the stuff on SoundCloud as well, you 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 produce that as well, right? Yeah, I put, up, like, I put up a couple of remixes and edits that are just, like, just messing around, mm-hmm. so... You know, I'm still learning and um, so you can feel just trying to figure out how to maneuver my way around Ableton and, and get the sounds I want out onto the actual program. We want you, come on, 